Whereas our one is is a upside down triangle, exact like pyramid. I have never heard of Arbon or any MLM being referred to an upside down pyramid before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charlotte. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Today's video is going to be another reaction style video, except this time I've got some smaller clips and photos to have a look at. I have got both of my windows open, so apologies if you can hear traffic going by or noises outside, but it's 31 degrees today and I am literally melting. I guess that's all I've got to say, let's get straight on into the video. So the first thing I want to have a look at, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I reposted this or if you follow Anti MLM Beauty, you may have also seen this. So Young Living have recently, I believe last week, released a new liquid foundation range. And I'm just gonna put up on the screen the post that they shared. And this is the shade range that they have got for this new launch. This is absolutely appalling, this shade range. We're well into Black Lives Matter being very prominent, and they have one shade for people of colour. Now, if you thought that was bad, let's have a look at the concealer shades they've launched. I think that possibly Dark 2, you could maybe argue, could work for people of colour who have, you know, lighter, dark skin. And what is even more ironic is that they posted I won't read the whole thing, but I'm just going to read the first paragraph. Human language falls short in so many instances. To say that we are saddened, heartbroken and furious about the acts of racism perpetrated against people of colour is simply not enough. Like you, we find ourselves wanting to fix something that has been too long broken. Like you, we find ourselves feeling hopeless in the face of entrenched systemic inequality. Like you, we feel we need to do more. How about a very simple way of doing more would be to have more than one shade for people of colour. We're not asking you to do anything drastic, just have more than one shade for people of colour would be a start at least. Young Living aren't the only company that are doing this. Our good old friends Arbon, they have recently released a new pressed powder line in, wait for it, six versatile shades. Let's have a look at those six versatile shades. Again, we have one pretty light shade for people of colour, and that's it, and that's supposed to fit all people of colour. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is these little green slides that all the MLM Huns have been reposting. <laughs> so, I'm going to put the first one up on the screen here. Network marketing, myth versus truth. First myth is that it's a pyramid scheme. Apparently the truth is that it's just a different business model than you're used to. Duh. That doesn't really disprove it being a pyramid scheme, I'm afraid. I am not used to pyramid schemes. It's still a business model that I'm not used to. Doesn't stop it being a pyramid scheme. Okay, let's just say this first. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Murder's illegal, rape is illegal, theft is illegal. Doesn't mean they don't happen. A true pyramid scheme provides no product or service. The people at the top make money based off of the number of people recruited by those below them. What's your point? That is the same in all of these MLM companies. And then this bit at the bottom, it says most major corporations have a pyramid structure, but that doesn't make them a scam or illegal. Simply being shaped like a pyramid doesn't make you a pyramid scheme, but that's not what MLMs are. That's not why we say that MLMs are pyramid schemes, simply because they're shaped like a pyramid. It's because the people at the top earn money and benefit off of the people working hard below them. McDonald's has one CEO and probably a couple hundred thousand people in the stores making food and working for the registers. But those people working on the registers are guaranteed a paycheck. That's the difference. The next myth. You have to be a good salesperson. Truth. You have to be the hardest worker in the room. Isn't it strange that they will literally accept anyone? You don't have to have any 
skills beforehand there's no sort of interview process and that just shows that it's not really a job opportunity that it's just they're trying to make a sale out of you it doesn't really matter if you're the hardest worker in the room sometimes it's just luck and usually it's the people who either got in near the beginning or people who have a large following maybe are already influencers in network marketing companies, consultants share quality products they believe in, just like you share the new shampoo you found at Target that you absolutely love. Yes, but I think you'd be surprised how rarely people actually then go and buy that shampoo from Target. There's a reason companies only partner with influencers who have a large following, because it's a small percentage of people who will actually then go forward and buy something after being recommended it. So these people who have hundreds of thousands of followers, a small percentage of that is still a large amount of customers and it's worth them to do it but me who has 600 followers that's not going to do anything for that company myth the market will eventually become saturated truth the population is always growing your network will never cease to exist so for this one i'm just going to insert a really fantastic clip that i found from a ted ed video a lot of you i'm sure have probably already seen this but they just explain it much better than i would be able to explain it and i think the animation is really um helpful as well so i'm just going to put this up here in the corner take a structure where each person has to recruit six people to earn a profit the founder recruits six people to start and each of them recruits six more there are 36 people in that second round of recruits who then each recruit six people a total of 216 new recruits by the 12th round of recruiting, the 2.1 billion newest members would have to recruit over 13 billion more people total to make money, more than the entire world population. So their argument that the population is always growing, it doesn't really work because sure, the population is growing, but not at the rate it would need to, to prevent the market being saturated. The population is not growing to greater than 12 billion sorry not 12 billion 13 billion they said let me ask you this do you know anyone who doesn't have some type of cell phone i know i don't but that doesn't stop apple and samsung from constantly mass producing new phones do they not realize the difference that people buy a new phone every couple of years one person has a demand for a new phone several times in their life one person isn't going to sign up to the same mlm so that argument just doesn't stand up they're two completely different scenarios finally myth only those at the top make money truth everyone has the same opportunity for growth and success but we know that that's not happening because your own income disclosure statements show that it's the people at the top who are earning the money and the people at the bottom are not making anything and sure you might say that everyone has the same opportunity for growth but like I said earlier, we know that really it's the people who either got in at the beginning or who already have a large following because, going back to the previous myth, the market is getting saturated. So they said, let's circle back to McDonald's. Their CEO will always make more money than anyone else in the company. The store managers will make more money than the associates. But the CEO has more responsibility than the store managers and the store managers have more responsibility than the associates and that's why the ceo gets paid more because they have more responsibility but in an mlm it's the people at the bottom who are having to do all the hard work and the people at the top are benefiting from the people below them who are doing all the work okay let's have a look at this next clip of these two arbon huns explaining why arbon isn't a pyramid scheme and the third point that we want to uh, talk to you all about is the famous Pyramid scheme. Pyramid! <laughs> Absolutely not. So, um, Arbon is definitely not a pyramid scheme, and I want to tell you why. So, Arbon is an effort based business. So, whatever you put in, you will get out. And we have something called a step breakaway system. So, say for example, I was induced by if I grow a larger organization, organization than her if i work harder then i would overtake her and she won't earn of me so that is just so such a fair fair business model we have i just want to explain how this works because if that person recruited the other girl 
she would be getting all of the QV points that that girl was getting. So the only way that she could actually overtake her is if the girl who recruited her went inactive. Then obviously, yes, she would overtake her, but that can't happen unless the person above you goes inactive. So when they give that argument, I just want to put it into perspective and explain how that works, because that is not an argument against why it is a pyramid scheme. I would also want you all, to, that's, that's what Shanice at the moment, really think to yourself where you're currently working, because I would say if you're in corporate, you probably are in the biggest pyramid scheme that you, you can even think, like you can ever think of, because there's a CEO at the top and everyone else working for that person. I mean, there's not really much more to say on that. We've already spoken about it. The money flows down rather than up, which it does in an MLM or pyramid scheme. Whereas our one is, is a upside down triangle. Yeah. Exactly, pyramid. I have never heard of Arbonne or any MLM being referred to an upside down pyramid before. Everyone starts as a consultant and there's room for every single person at the top. It just comes down to your desire, your worth ethic and what you do with this business. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad we do. I just want to put that one to, to bed because that's not... <laughs> Absolutely to bed. Yeah. Um, and also they're illegal. A 40-year-old company that had been operating for 40 years would not... It, it, it's illegal. Yeah. Um, anyway, so fourth one. And again, we've already said this. Just because it's illegal doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Hello, Arbon. you've had several lawsuits against you. And the only reason that they haven't been taken down is because... And this is the same with a lot of MLMs that have had lawsuits against them, is because... As much as they like to tell you that they are small business owners, they're not. They work for a corporate company. They are independent contractors, but they work for a corporate company. Now, this corporate company has the money to settle with the people who are taking them to court. So that is why they are, they've been around for 40 years. So that, again, is not an argument. Just because it's been happening for a long time doesn't mean it's not illegal. One more thing to have a look at. This was a really amazing clip, so thank you to the person who sent it in. They joined a Q&A session with this Arbon rep and her upline. And this person sent a question and let's have a look at the upline's reaction because it's quite good. So I'm just going to read you the question first because the MLM hun doesn't read the question out loud. So the question was, does it concern you that 99% of people never turn a profit in MLMs, including Arbon, according to the income disclosure statements that the companies release? What's it? I've just got a question. Okay, so no, sorry, okay, so every time that someone starts a business with Arbon, they are deemed an independent consultant, okay? So the, the disclosure statements show that anyone, right, it, you know, that has a business with Arbon is an independent consultant. Now, someone might open an account and then not choose to build the business. Okay, and that, that takes up, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people that do that, right? So it's only ever a small percentage when you go to that income disclosure statement that, you know, do make it to the top levels of management. And that's no different to any other industry. If you look at corporate, guess what? If we looked at the earning structure of a corporate organization, there's going to be a very, very small percentage that is in that top earning potential, right? You know, the, the board directors, the CEOs that make it to the top level of management in corporates versus the people that aren't, you know, at that level. So it really is no different. You know, you could look at all the people that um, complete the certification to become a personal trainer for example. But guess what? If we looked at all the income and earning potentials of personal trainers, I bet there's only going to be a very, very small, tiny, teeny percentage of the people that are in that top bracket. So that's the thing, guys. It's effort-based and anyone can, if they're prepared to put the effort in, you know, get to the different levels of management. But you have to understand that, you know, it requires work and it takes time and not everyone is prepared to put that effort in or to stick it out and do it over time. So yes, when you go to that earnings disclosure statement, you're going to see that there is a small percentage of people that, you know, get to national vice president, the level that I'm at, but anyone can. It's absolutely there for the taking for those that are prepared to put the effort in. Sorry, I saw a question pop up and I thought, oh, I want to. So notice she was very sneaky and actually changed the question she answered. The question wasn't, are you concerned that that only 1% reach the top level of management. The question was, are you concerned that 99% of people don't make a profit? And she 
is answering that as if that wasn't the question. She is saying that only a very small percentage of people in any type of job will get to the top levels and to the top earning percentage. That wasn't the question, hun, and you know that wasn't the question, and you are avoiding it because you know it's wrong. I mean, it's quite obviously a lie when she says that the reason 99% of people don't make a profit is because 99% of them open an account and then never do anything with it. Who do you think you're fooling by saying that? Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If you got all the way to the end, please leave this video a big thumbs up. You can send any videos or posts that you'd like me to have a look at and potentially react to in a video to the email address that is on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.